Germany, Italy and Bulgaria were forced to withdraw from Greece towards the end of World War II. But only six weeks later, Greece entered a new war. Greece is the only country in Central, Balkan and Eastern Europe where communists attempted to take power, but failed. This is the Greek civil war in record time with hindsight. Historians often recognize three phases of the conflict. The first started long before World War II was over. Greece was occupied by the Axis powers. The Italians surrendered to the Allies in 1943 and their territory was taken over by Germany. The Greeks fiercely resisted the occupation and they did so in multiple forms, just to simplify. You can divide the resistance groups into two camps those supported by communist parties and those who were republican. This brushes over all the nuances, but just for the sake of simplicity here, I'll call them communists and republicans. The various resistance groups weren't united in their resistance and even clashed in some instances with each other while being occupied by the Axis powers. Towards the end of the war, the communists were gaining the upper hand. As the battle lines were closing in on the city of Berlin, the Germans were expected to surrender. And at this time, across Europe, fighting and violence erupted. In Athens, the Germans had retreated just a few weeks earlier and the country was liberated. The Greek police, with support from the weakened British forces, were struggling to maintain order. In the eve of December 3rd, Greece was going to make a dramatic turn. Shortly after sunset, a crowd of angry civilians was marching towards the city center. The police tried to block them, but without success. The crowd broke through the police barricades and was marching towards the central square. The protesters were answering to a call from a communist resistance group. The Greek government had decided a few months earlier that they and other similar groups would soon fall under the leadership of the Greek government. This was signed into effect by the Prime Minister of Greece when he was still in exile a few months earlier. Now, upon his return to Greece, the Prime Minister was in rage. As the protesters were raging and ranting outside, he was hiding in the bedroom of the royal palace. The police had trouble maintaining order. The protesters broke through the last barricades and stormed the palace. But only when they reached the monument of the unknown soldier, it turned vile. The Greek police received orders to shoot. There were also British soldiers present, but they were instructed not to interfere. They stood by as the Greek officers shot with live ammunition into the crowd, killing at least 28 demonstrators and wounding many, many more. This was the most dramatic and bloodiest of the December events. And with hindsight, this is the moment that Greece entered the civil war. Athens became a battleground between communist groups, government forces and British soldiers. A few months later, the EAM was suffering tremendous losses. In Varkisa, near Athens, the leaders of the government and communist resistance parties came together. This was the first diplomatic effort to end the civil war. The agreement included nine articles that described how civil liberties such as freedom of press and union forming would be reinstated. They agreed on giving amnesty for all political offenses, except those in common law against life and property. The Greek government promised to reform the national army, 
in such a way that guerrilla fighters would be accepted. The communist guerrillas handed over their weapons, martial law was lifted, political crimes forgiven and the referendum would be organized on the future of the monarchy. The progress was hopeful. But over the course of the next couple of months, all parties violated the terms. The government launched a campaign against the communists and frequently ignored the amnesty. The communists, in turn, didn't hand over all their weapons and started forming factions underground. Greeks were living in a climate of violence and repression. The communist parties called for a boycott of the 1946 elections. With historically low voter turnout and many reported cases of fraud, the right-wing government won the elections. Far ahead of schedule and as discussed, they restored the monarchy through a referendum. Many Greeks were opposed to the idea of a communist government, but they were also less than enthusiastic about the re-establishment of the monarchy. The country was drifting ever closer to an open civil conflict. In Albania, Bulgaria and Yugoslavia, communist governments were formed, while the Greek communists were forced to operate underground. In 1946, they reinvented themselves. The remnants of the communist guerrillas renamed themselves the Greek Democratic Army and was now fully controlled by the Communist Party. They had 10 times fewer soldiers than the National Army, but they used hit and run tactics of guerrilla warfare. Even though they scored some notable successes in the beginning, they were unable to capture any major cities. The conflict was heating up and was getting more and more expensive. It became increasingly challenging for the United Kingdom, itself recovering from the war, to support the Greeks with money and supplies. Harry S. Truman, at that time, was the President of the United States. With the Greek case specifically in mind, he created the Truman Doctrine. A policy intended to aid parties fighting communist expansion. Greece received $400 million in financial aid. And the National Army received training from American officials. By itself, this would have decided the outcome of the Civil War. But the communist troops also made a disastrous decision to shift from guerrilla tactics to more traditional set-piece battles. Heavily outnumbered and outarmed, they made a speedy decline. The battle lasted until the last mountain stronghold fell in August 1949. Hey, what do you know about the Spanish Civil War? I made another video that explains in 7 minutes how it started, unfolded and ended. Check it out by clicking on the suggested video here on the left.